While a woman in Yukon claims OG&E contractor sprayed pesticides in her backyard without her consent. News Force Taylor Mitchell is looking out for her tonight after talking with OG&E about what happened. Taylor, what'd you learn? Well, Natalie, the woman says she takes pride in her yard and never uses chemicals in the ground. So it was quite the surprise when she saw OG&E contractors letting themselves into her yard without asking and then spraying pesticides. If you look this product up, there are records of it being harmful to humans, to animals, to plants, to vegetations. Brandy Becerra says she was in the middle of washing her dog when she heard a knock at her door. She was unable to answer it, then saw a couple of people in her backyard minutes later. And I said, excuse me, I, what are you doing? I think you were at the wrong house. And they go, well, we're doing a tree growth retardant uh, injection. We're contractors with og &E. and I was like, I didn't give you approval or authorization to do that. But Sarah then says one of the workers took her to the truck to get information about the product. But in the meantime, the other contractors continued their work. Becerra frustrated the workers told her if no one answers the door, they're told to go into the yard and do it anyway. They can just go in if you're not home and you would never know that they were injecting this into the soil, into your tree and surrounding areas. We reached out to og &E. They tell us, quote, before work is performed in a neighborhood, customers are notified via phone call and by our crews visiting homes to answer questions. If no one is home, our crew Crews leave behind materials explaining the process, and when the crews arrive to perform the work, they knock on the door before accessing the area needed to complete the work. But Becerra says she didn't get the notification. My phone rejects unknown numbers. So I never got that robocall. OG&E goes on to say trimming and treating trees and other vegetation near power lines and electrical equipment is critical to ensuring reliable electricity, including hardening the grid against severe weather and protecting the safety of our customers and crews. og &E also tells us they understand her frustration and they reached out to her to speak directly and answer questions about the process. But Brandy Becerra tells us the damage is already done and warns other homeowners about her experience.